Good afternoon everyone. In today's video we're looking at this massive system that's bringing a severe weather threat for tomorrow in this area and then the next day another severe threat down in the south. This is the current National Weather Service current watches, warnings, and advisories. And as you can see, we have a bunch of weather, winter weather, winter weather advisories and effects in the purplish colors all the way from California. And this is the main winter storm that's going to be going on here across the northern Midwest. And this is going to be reaching from uh, Colorado to uh, portions of Michigan there. We also have ice storm warnings now in effect in those darker purple colors, more of magenta. That's where you will ex be experiencing freezing rain events. So uh, we have winter storm warnings now in effect in those pinker colors. A bunch of red flag warnings, which is meaning that you could see wildfire conditions uh, throughout the next 24 hours or more. Let's look at the future radar here from uh, College of DuPage. And again, this is the future radar. So this is not exactly <laughs> what it's gonna look like, but it's gonna look really similar uh, to this. So just to understand that, let's go to move forward here. We have definitely widespread rain showers and thunderstorms across the region. This is gonna be Saturday on around just before lunchtime. Not overall any severe threat yet but as we move throughout the afternoon possibly some severe thunderstorms popping up by then this is going to be around 2 p.m so you're seeing some storms popping up uh in western iowa let's move forward and this is when the discrete cells begin to develop and these will be the main cells that will be uh mainly developing those possible tornadoes so just be aware of that if you do live in this area this is the main area of which you could see those tornadoes possible but overall the storm prediction center has said that this whole area could see the potential for tornadoes yeah, in these storms that any any in this type of area as we move forward you got a few more cells just below that but according to the latest edge hrr just a little lonely cell here that develops just across the border of nebraska and iowa could produce some a sort of supercellular uh, rotation as you can see from that swath that's a helicity swath which means that this does have the potential for tornadoes, especially in this type of region right here. Let's look at the hodograph map uh, from College of DuPage once again. As you can see, uh, these hodographs are looking quite impressive for early March, especially in Iowa. As you can see, we have uh, deep coloring in uh, these pinkish reddish colors, deep coloring, which is meaning a strong potential for potential tornadoes. Uh, especially in this area if you do live in that area definitely be aware tomorrow keep an eye on those skies uh, it does have a decent potential for those tornadoes especially in this kind of hot spot region uh, now this is going to be around 3 p.m uh, this is going to be 3 p.m so it uh, looks like this main threat is actually going to be quite perfect timing for storm chasers who might be chasing this however it is still march so sun goes down uh, by 6 p.m so there's not a whole lot of time to catch these storms in daylight for tomorrow's outlook for severe storms is a slight risk for severe storms which is meaning a level two out of five on the severe weather scales where you see you'll see widespread severe thunderstorms also in the march risk you'll have some isolated severe thunderstorms in that area for the tornado risk we have a decent chance with that five percent chance for tornadoes uh extending from nebraska up there to wisconsin so quite the area for that tornado potential as you can see we also have a two percent risk for tornadoes in the green for the wind risk we have a 15 percent chance for 60 mile per hour wind gusts and for that hail, you also have a 15% chance for up to quarter sized hail. For the day three outlook, this is for Sunday. As you can see, we have also another slight risk for severe storms. I'm not totally sure on the tornado threat with this one, but I guarantee you it will be lower than up north for tomorrow. Uh, it, definitely 2% risk for tornadoes will probably be likely, but not overall big tornado threat for Sunday. If you did enjoy the brief update, be sure to subscribe to the channel if you are new and turn on post notifications so you won't miss a single upload or live stream. Also, make sure to share this video with any friends or family that may want the latest updates on these two severe weather threat areas. But as always, stay safe.